CMS ISD Athletic Showcase. I'm here with Coach Wilson and some of her soccer captains. Thank you for joining us, Coach. <laughs> what got you into coaching? Tell me where you started off. Well, I started playing whenever I was a little girl, and so I have played for over 20 years, and just I love the game. I love being around the game, and so being able to coach is just really, really exciting, and I'm really thankful that I have that opportunity. Um, to coach and to be around a great group of girls that we've got at Saginaw. So, what would be the biggest challenge this year? I think one of our biggest challenges this year is, um, you know, we've got a lot of new faces on our team this year, and we've got four freshmen that are actually starting on our varsity team this year. So, just able, just getting everybody able to connect and know where where each other is going to be, and just get that team chemistry. I think that's our biggest biggest obstacle and biggest challenge this year so far. So, you play Boswell tomorrow. What can you expect? Well, Boswell always has a really, really tough team, and I know both teams look forward to the game every year, so I think it's going to be a really um, good, tough, hard-fought match tomorrow night. Can you introduce who you brought here today? I've got um, my three captains, Sarah Martinez, a senior, and Veronica Santos, another senior, and Myra Burado, um, a junior. Sarah, okay, so you just started playing soccer sophomore year, correct? Yes. What got you into soccer? Uh, I don't know. I just really like kind of liked the game, and I just was interested in playing it. So I just figured like just trying out for the goalie because I figured it'd be an easy position, and I ended up making varsity as a sophomore, and I was pretty excited about it. So. So you played basketball, volleyball, and golf. Yeah. How does that? How do those sports tie into soccer, or well, are they completely different? I mean, with golf, it's obviously completely different because it's an individual sport, but. With volleyball and basketball, there's more like adrenaline, and basketball is kind of like the same sport, but you know, differently. It's with your feet, so like they tie in in the same way, but they're kind of different. <laughs> Veronica, so you were a freshman on varsity. Yes. Well, how has the program changed over the few years? Um, it's changed a lot since my freshman year, coaching wise. Our coach, my coach, my freshman year wasn't as strict as coach <laughs> was na as now. Um, my freshman year, our team, it was more of an individual, and when coach came, we were more as a team and a family, because our freshman year, we had a lot of problems, and so, yeah. So I hear you have an offer. Can yes. you tell me about that? Um, yes, I have an offer. He came out to see us play during one of the tournaments. Well, he was really seeing one of the Burt Olson tournaments. Um, I shocked him. I visited him twice already, and I'm going to sign my letter of intent Wednesday and hope to go from there. I'm excited. Congratulations. Maya, Myra, sorry. <laughs> You're a, the only junior captain, correct? Okay, so can you tell me, like, what's it like to have such a huge role on the field? Because I know your other captains are seniors. What's it like being the only junior? It's tough. Um, I have to deal with a lot of people, like, not liking me at being a captain. Yeah. Um, having to, knowing what to say and how to, like, encourage them the right way and not to make it sound like I'm bringing them down in a way yeah. and things like that. So next year, what are your expectations? Hopefully for me to still be the leader of the team. Um, playoffs is one of them. And there's going to be a bunch of new faces on the team. So getting to know them and bringing them together as a team and working together. All right, thank you. So coach, your game against Basel, where's that at and what time? At Saginaw High School tomorrow night at 7.15. OK. Make sure you be there and show up and root for either team, I guess. <laughs> Um, when we get back, we'll be interviewing the Basel Soccer Girls. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Coach Baker and some of his uh, soccer girls. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What got you into soccer? Uh, I've played soccer since I was five. Um, played all the way up through high school. Played in college for four years. <laughs> and I started <laughs> You're good, coaching. Yeah. Uh, at a small school in Westlake. It's a, a private school. And then I became a teacher, a full-time teacher, and started coaching at Foster Ridge High School in Keller. And then I moved over here uh, last season. So this is my second season here, and I'm, I'm excited. We have a lot of young talent going forward, so. How is the season going so far? Uh, good, our preseason was good. We won seven games, lost one, tied two. We've already scored more goals than we had all of last year. We've already won more games than we had all of last year. And so we've improved a lot. So you play Saginaw tomorrow. What can you expect? Um, it's always going to be tough. You're playing a cross town rival. They're always going to play their best against us. So, um, but I'm confident that we'll come out and, and take care of our side of the team. What's your biggest challenge this year? Staying healthy. Uh, if we could stay healthy, we could go as far as 
these three girls can take us. And that's that's really all it's about is you know staying healthy. Can you introduce who you brought here today? Um, <laughs> they're they're excited. They're ready to. They are. So I brought our three captains. Uh, we have Aubrey. She's our second year oh, captain. Okay. She's a senior. Jocelyn uh, Carrillo. She's a junior, and she's also a captain. And Taylor Stoller, who's a senior captain. Are you upset? <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready for this. So, <laughs> how long have you been playing soccer? Um, I've been playing for about 14 years since wow. I was four. So, yeah. Do you plan on taking it to the next level? Yeah, next year I'm planning to go back to Michigan and play at uh, Jackson College. It's a JUCO, junior college. Congratulations. Thank <laughs> you. And Jocelyn, uh, you're a junior and you're a captain. So, what's that like um, to the other girls on the field? I don't know, it doesn't really feel any different. I've been with them since my freshman year, so I feel part of the family. Do you have any expectations for next year? Um, it's gonna be kind of hard missing um, our two center mids. <laughs> so, um, we'll find someone to fill it and hopefully we'll do just as good as this year. How long have you been playing soccer? Uh, <laughs> 15 years, so since I was three, like the same as her. So it's do you, What position do you play? Uh, I play attacking mid for high school and then defensive mid for club. Do you plan on taking it to the next level uh, as well? Yeah, I committed to East Central University in Oklahoma, so I'll be there next year. Congratulations. Coach, and can you tell me about your games this week? Uh, we have Saginaw on Tuesday, <coughs> and that's at Saginaw. And then Friday at home, we play Brewer. Okay. So that was your Basel Pioneers. When we get back, we'll be interviewing the Chisholm Shell Rangers. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, and I'm here with Coach Chevalier, or better known as Coach Chevy. <laughs> yeah. Coach, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what got you into soccer? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I grew up playing soccer um, from about the time I could start running, um, and uh, I grew up played club in the area, in the DFW area, because um, I'm from Burleson originally. Um, when I went to college, I took a bit of a hiatus from soccer, um, took up triathlon a little bit, and then after college, got back into it. Um, started coaching at Burleson High School actually um, and then got into a little bit of club coaching as well before I came over here. What's the season like going so far? Um, it's been tough. Um, we've we've been plagued with injuries um, so that's been that's been kind of uh, rough for us but um, you know the girls are doing a good job of um, holding things together well and um, you know we've had uh, some tough preseason matchups um, but you know it's early in district and so you know we're still hopeful we think things can go our way in the end. What will be the biggest challenge this year? Um, like I said, keeping players healthy, honestly. Um, missing so many starters right now has been pretty rough. Um, but if we can get everybody healthy and uh, on the same page, um, we'll be in pretty good shape, I think. So So you play Ryder tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And last year they were the district champs, correct? They so were, correct. So what will be your expectations for tomorrow? Um, you know what, we're going to go in tomorrow, um, like we always do, expecting to win um, and to compete. Um, and we'll set goals for ourselves, we'll set small goals um, on uh, certain things defensively and offensively that we want to get done. Um, and uh, you know, we're going to put our best foot forward and uh, hope we come out on top. So it will be a tough one though, for sure. Can you introduce who you brought here today? Two of our senior captains, Paulina Contreras and Gabby Montemoso. Um, and then I also brought with us uh, Mia Hernandez, she's a junior and our leading goal scorer right now. How long have you been playing soccer? Um, I've been playing since I was seven years old. So I was probably six, seven, eight. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> what are your expectations <laughs> for next year? Um, to make it to playoffs. I, want, I really want to try to do that. I feel like we can do it. We can make it this year if we really try and want to. And I feel like we can do it next year too. OK, so do you plan on taking it to the next level? I actually do. I, I um, tried out my sophomore year, and I did not expect to play soccer, but <laughs> I actually enjoy it quite a lot. And I'm going to the U.S. Naval Academy in, in the fall, and I would actually like to try for the club team there. So. so I know you started playing soccer as a freshman. How has the program been different throughout the years? Well, freshman year, we were only freshmen and sophomores because we it was a new school, so <laughs> it was really challenging. We had a small team, and we went against, like, challenging challenging school so we were pretty much defeated the whole season but um, we lost the other coach that had freshman year and then we got coach Lai, um my sophomore year and he's been here since with us since my sophomore year so this will be third year third year with us and so with his help and with like 
new people and also people that have stayed in the code program, which is a very few, but I think we've grown and we've gotten more talent in. So I think um, even after we leave, I think it, it'll keep um, growing and they'll have more victories than we've had in the past. Do you plan on taking it to the next level? Um, I don't know, maybe also like club, but not really, probably not like college soccer, but still playing. Coach, can you tell me about the games for the rest of this week? Yeah, sure. So we've got Ryder at home tomorrow, and then we've got Azel on Friday on the road. So that'll be a good one for us. That was your Chisholm Trail Rangers. Stay tuned for next week when we interview the soccer boys.